Howdy all, part two, I'm going to show you some of the thunder eggs I have. You've seen me pull out a rock out of here and you're just wondering what's he doing with that and how come he never said anything about it. It was going for part two of a part two video. Thunder eggs. This is from Soccer Creek. I bought it. Guy's got a claim over there and I wanted to go out and get an egg. This is a nice double. And Soccer Creek eggs, they're kind of boring mostly all the same stuff but this one here I really looked at it I figured I'm gonna buy it and cut it open but let's see if I can find what I was seeing yesterday it's got a little bit of amethyst crystal formation on the outside of it there's another one there and let me look here okay it's not gonna okay right in here pretty dark agatized right in there and so I'm thinking it's going to be a nice cut when I get it open so we're going to take him over here and show you some of the thunder eggs I got I'm going to put him I got these sorted out on none of these are for sale or anything I uh, that's my own private stock okay we got all kinds of different types of thunder eggs. Some of them I don't even know where they're from. Some I do. Some are big. Some are small. But yeah, I like cutting thunder eggs. It's like Forrest Gump says. You, it's like a box of chocolates. You don't know what you're going to get until you bite into them. Preferably cut into it. Yeah, I got all kinds of different types of eggs here. That one's pretty light. I got some big heavy ones here. Should keep me busy for a long time. Yeah, this is a 55 gallon drum cut in two. So that's half a drum there. So looking at 25, 27 gallon drum. And I got some, I got some real small thunder eggs. I call them thunder nuts. And you can cut them. I've cut a few just to play around on my trim saw I got over there in the corner. Some of these are Buchanan. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Some of them I just leave whole. People like to buy them just to say they got little premature eggs as they call them but I call them thunder nuts and there are buckets down there that's all I'll be can in there I usually hoard them what I got here another one down there there's more thunder eggs in that bucket that bucket thunder eggs in here and them are from the Richardson Ranch blue bed which isn't open anymore so I kind of yeah, I, I, I hoard them. I won't even give one away. And we got some Lucky Strike eggs. I'll be cutting into them this summer. Had a buddy went up there last year and I gave him some money to pick me some up. And he obliged. Appreciate it, buddy. And then I got some. These are all pretty much doubles and triples, I think. I'm not sure. But that's Richardson. Check there. That's the one I just had there. Yeah, all different sizes. All different types of eggs. There's a nice one, a little triple. And we'll put him in there. And then I do a lot of bartering and horse trading with some of my fellow rock hunters. They know I'm a thunder egg nut. Jasper nut too. Lots of thunder eggs. They send me boxes of thunder eggs. And we got all kinds of different types of eggs here. So I'll have enough eggs for a while. Yes, yeah, sir. In fact, this one should be in there. Yeah, all kinds of different types of eggs. For a while there, I was cutting eggs pretty continuously, and I got to where I was knowing what they were just by looking at the exterior but got away for a couple years and now I got a 
teach myself all the basics with it again. I got some thunder eggs in here too. There's there's one right there. There's one right there. And there's a big one right back there. One of them is a big double or triple. I don't think I'll ever cut him. But this is uh, from a 55 gallon drum too. And this is from a 55 gallon drum. I got a box of thunder eggs here from Germany somewhere. I must have hit them pretty well because I don't see them anywhere. Well, look for them some other than that. I got some thunder eggs over here that are cut that need to get polished on my polisher. Maybe I can do that this summer. Yeah, these are pretty much my keepers. Hands over there, all different shapes and sizes and colors. A little of everything. Well, that's about it on my thunder eggs. I think this old goat might be looking for a box of German thunder eggs. Yeah, they're still in the shipping box, so. But who knows? I stick stuff away and I won't find it for two or three years. But just thought I'd share a little bit in my shop here on Thunder Eggs. And as always, thanks for looking.